guys, I hope you're having a great day. So in this video, I'm gonna share a little bit more on how I'm adding extra storage to my home for our food and home supplies. I mentioned previously that I'm trying to build our pantry up and supplies that would last our family at least three months. I'm starting out by working towards two weeks and then a month and then to so add extra storage. If you saw my previous video, I added a shelf in my laundry room. I will link that video up here or down below in the description if you'd like to check that out. That way I could clear out my sideboard. I have to get a little bit creative on how I'm gonna store everything. And I don't have tons of cabinet space, but I do have a china hutch. I do have a sideboard. I do have a small pantry. I actually built that pantry around a freezer because I didn't have anywhere to put a freezer in our home and so I took a little bit of space out of the living room and built a pantry but the freezer does take up a lot of that space There are a lot of reasons behind the decision to do this for my family and add to our food and supplies that we keep on hand. There have been times over the past couple of years I've looked for something in the store, it just wasn't there. So I thought it would be really nice to keep extra items on hand. We also live out in the country. If you're in the middle of a recipe or want to make something, it's not always just a quick trip to the store to go get what you need. And then of course with price increases, I thought it would be nice to go ahead and purchase things while they're a little bit lower just in case prices continue to rise. And so that is part of the reasoning behind all of this. And three months is basically my starting goal. I would really like to eventually get to that six to 12 month mark. But for right now, I'm just working towards that three months of extra food and supplies on hand. So I purchased a large pantry shelf and I will be sharing that in this video. And then I have grocery pickup here in just a few minutes. And I ordered a small metal shelf to go in my craft room for extra storage as well. And I do have a few other ideas for that room, but stay tuned for that because I haven't completely made up my mind how I'm gonna go about it. So I picked up a gallon of milk and some almond milk, some bananas for my family, some yogurt, I like this kind, and then a dozen eggs. Now these items right here were actually on my pantry restock list and I'll show you that in a second but I got a box of cereal, a bottle of ketchup, two cans of chicken noodle soup, and a package of cookies. Something. Here's how we're keeping track of our inventory. Things we need to purchase, things we need to replace. I have two wipe erase boards on our refrigerator. The first one is our list. Things that we think of that we need to purchase. The second one is for the items that we take out of the pantry or the freezer to use. Like you can see a bottle of ketchup, two boxes of cereal, two cans of chicken noodle soup. I replaced a lot of those items today that I can remove from this list but I can also pick and choose what I want to add into my grocery order. Things like the laundry soap, I recently purchased some on sale, so I'm not in a hurry to run out and grab an extra laundry soap. I'm gonna keep an eye out for the next sale and stock up at that time. So my family is doing a really good job of keeping track of things for me, and I'm really appreciative of that. I know that wouldn't work for every family, but for right now, this is working really well for us. Something else I'm working on to keep track of the inventory in our home is I created some printables and placed them in a binder. So I'm hoping by keeping track of the inventory in our pantry, in our freezers, what we have on hand for cleaning supplies, personal hygiene, our pets, and all of that, I can look at everything at a glance in my binder at my desk when I'm planning out our meal plan for the week or my shopping list. I can see how many of something that we have on hand and if it's something I would really like more of in our food storage, I can add that to my list. If something's getting close to the expiration date, I can work that into my meal plan. So I'm hoping this is gonna be a time saver and really help me out in keeping track of everything.
turkey. Something else we needed for the pantry is some sauerkraut. And then I needed some lunch I like meat. to break off a piece and have it with my coffee every once in a while. So I picked up one of those. And then I use these pretty much instead of bread. Something else I added to my order is a case of water. There. This case of water has 24 bottles and it is three gallons, one a pint. There are three people in my home. You're supposed to have a gallon of water a day. So this one case of water will last my family for one day. So that's an easy way to look at it. So I got that to add to my food storage as and here's well. the rest of my order. I added two of the Gatorade Zero. That's the one that I drink. I picked up a case of regular Gatorade at Sam's the other day for my family. I also picked up a new pitcher and then I picked up some chips. These were actually a substitute and then I got some corn chips, tortilla chips, and the organic blue corn tortilla chips. And then here is the last item that I purchased. It's just a small metal shelf. You can actually buy two of these, put them together, if you buy the little connector part so I may end up doing that because I already have one of these and I'm really happy with the quality of it I've had it for years and years I've had it in all different places in my home and so I picked up one of these to store extra water or whatever and it's going to be going in my crafter for now but I do have other ideas for that space so we'll just see how it ends up coming together but this was under $30 so here is the shelf that I purchased to put in my craft room, which is also a guest room. So I really wanted it to have doors that would close, but this is gonna be some extended food storage or pantry space for my family. And I really like the size of this one. I like the look of it. I put this together myself. It probably took me about an hour and it was super heavy. There was no way I was gonna carry the box inside by myself so I just opened the box up outside and brought it in a piece at a time so I'll include the footage of putting it together right here And you'll notice that I keep checking my phone because my package arrived with absolutely no directions or instruction manual on how to put my shelf together. But thankfully, I was able to do a quick search online and find them. So let's take a little closer look at it. I really like the barn door look that it has. It just has a rustic look to it. And here is what it looks like so far. I really like how deep the shelves are and just overall the space. It really adds a lot to my extra pantry storage. In fact, I'm thinking about buying another one of these for my living room because my photo albums actually fit really nicely in here and I think it looks nice. I think it matches our decor. And so I'm definitely thinking about adding another and one. Something else I've decided to add into my food storage is actually some longer term food storage items. And these are the number 10 cans that I've added in so far. I have a couple more on the way. I did actually purchase two of the milk alternatives. My family's been drinking one of them. They like it just fine. I really wanted to try it out before I add very much of this kind of item to our food storage to make sure it's something that we would actually use 
if we need to and they actually like it just fine. So I've purchased a regular milk, a chocolate milk, and a creamy chicken rice. The milks are good for up to 20 years and the creamy chicken rice I believe it said up to 25 and it says right on the can the shelf life. So I'm looking for those as they come on sale. Those I actually got on sale, really good price. And they actually do have a dairy milk version as well. It was just out of stock and I'd heard really good reviews on this one. And it's not something we're gonna drink every single day, but I thought since it lasts up to 20 years, that would be a really good item to have on it. And I do have a couple more number 10 cans coming and I think they're supposed to be here today. I ordered a biscuit mix as well as a pancake mix and I think both of those had a 10 year shelf life. And before I put my new shelf together, which is gonna go in this corner right here, they do have a cabinet just like this one, except it's half the size. And it would fit right here. And I'm thinking about possibly getting one of those, but I haven't made up my mind just yet on that. Actually, I had kind of hoped two of these would fit, but it's just gonna be too tight a space. The door would hit the cabinet and I don't want that happening. And so I am going to think about the skinnier cabinet, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the metal shelf for right now and see how that works. And I do have another metal shelf just like the one that I bought. It's actually two that were put together with those connectors I mentioned. And so let me show you that one. So here's the shelf tucked inside the closet. This is where I store extra water and to put that in perspective, this is just over a week's worth of water for my family if I go by the recommended amount of one gallon per person per day. And I'd really like to get my water supply built up to at least a month's worth of water on hand. So right now I'm researching and brainstorming, trying to figure out the best way to do that and where I could store it in my home. But now let's get back to putting that shelf together. And here's a look at those little connector pieces that you can purchase to put two of these shelves together. And they sell them on the Walmart's website. And I think you can get them on Amazon as well. And you don't have to purchase two small shelves and the connectors to put them together to get a taller shelf. They have all sorts of sizes of these shelves available. You can get them on Amazon, you can get them at Walmart, you can get them at Wayfair. It's just what I chose to do because I wasn't sure if I really wanted a tall shelf in this corner, but I did want that option. So I'm not completely sold on using the metal shelf in the corner of this room or if I would rather buy that slimmer cabinet that would fit in this space instead and I could put everything behind doors. I really like the sound of that a lot better. Of course the metal shelf is definitely easier on the budget and it is tucked back farther than the cabinet so if you're walking down the hall you don't even see it and I would have it organized as nicely as possible but you're not going to see it unless you're actually in my craft room. Another option is the wall where my desk is and my cork board. That one is actually big enough I could put two of the large shelves over there. So that's something I'm thinking about as well. I think that would be a really nice option. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to utilize this space so that I can still use the room as my craft room. I can still use it as a guest room but I can add that extra pantry storage that I need as well. So I have a couple of other places where I'm storing items. Our master closet, I keep extra toilet paper, paper towels, and a few other items along the top of our shelves in there. And then in our linen closet in the bathroom, I have some extra items in there as well. And then another spot in our master bedroom where I keep a lot of our snack items is in a storage bench at the end of our bed. So let me show you that real quick. So here she is, it's an extra long storage bench. I keep a lot of our extra snack food items in here like granola bars and crackers. Now that I have that extra pantry space, I can rework some things and get them organized 
a lot better. But if you need to get creative with a place to store things, one of these storage benches are a great option. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you a few ideas if you have to be creative like me in finding extra storage space for food. And I'm so thankful for the space that I do have. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And I would love to know in the comments where you put extra storage items for your family. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day and thanks for watching.